Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you from the shower. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my wash and go routine. The first thing I like to do is really rinse my hair and wash out any buildup I can with just water. I do only shampoo my hair once, so that step is very key when it comes to my wash and go routine. So I use the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Conditioning Shampoo, and I just put that all over my hair and wash out any extra product that was left behind, any smells, you know, it's been a few days. Then I like to condition with my OGX Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. This conditioner is so thick, it really hugs my hair, and I like to apply it all over. I try to apply it as evenly as I possibly can. It makes the tangling much easier, and I also feel like my hair is gaining more nutrients, as I guess conditioner is supposed to do. I don't know. <laughs> then I go with my Denman brush, which is also the bomb for detangling. Like, if you don't have one... You need to get one. It definitely makes it easier because if you have natural hair, you know that this part is the part that sucks. But once I detangle, I like to clip my hair up and leave the conditioner in my hair for a few minutes just to get that extra moisture in there. So two minutes will do. You can leave it for longer. It's not going to harm your hair. And then I will go ahead and rinse that out. I like to rinse out all the conditioner and not really leave any behind because I do put a lot of product in my hair once I'm out the shower. So... I don't really need that extra conditioner in there. So we're going to go right in. I'm going to start with the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat, but before I apply it, I'm going to grab my spray bottle and wet the section of my hair. I do this to all the sections of my hair. Um, the wetter the hair, the better for the product. After I smooth on the Garnier Fructis and run it through my hair with my fingers, I go in with the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Curl Styler Cream Pudding. That one I just smooth on top of my hair. I don't run my fingers through it really, just to hold down the frizz. And the last product I put on is the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil. And I prefer an oil more than a gel. I'm not really with the crunchy hair. I just, I love the oil because it gives it a shine. It makes my hair smooth and soft. And the ending result is really amazing with these three products combined on my hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to do the same thing, the same thing, <laughs> the same thing with each section of my hair. Um, I am grabbing the towel just to dab because, you know, with the spray bottle and the water, it gets a little messy on the face and the water running down the neck. So you will see that throughout the video. But um, I feel like applying product to your hair in sections is just way better. I feel like you get every nook and cranny versus just applying it to the whole head. Um to each one's own but that's basically my process and I work from the back of course to the front and when applying product in the front I really want to get like my baby hairs and the edges and all that um, it's really important to get every piece of hair because then when it dries you're definitely gonna see those pieces if you did miss and it's gonna make it give it like a frizzy look and we're not trying to go for that mm -mm. we're trying to go for that smooth curly soft look and um, I always part my hair in the middle, even if I may not leave it like that. I just feel like I just, I need to part it in the middle so I can apply that product evenly. Like if I'm going to do it to the side, I don't know. I know it's weird, but it's just like a weird little habit that I have. But I always part my hair in the middle to apply product, even if I'm not going to let it dry that way. Um, and it's worked for me thus far, so I can't really complain. But I'm going, I'm going in on the last section right now. Basic same thing, Garnier Fructis, Palmer's, and then Argan Oil. And once I'm done, I like to wrap it into a towel. One, to help it dry quicker since I don't diffuse my hair. And two, I need it out the way when I'm doing my makeup and all that stuff. I don't want to keep moving it around and basically breaking my neck. And I thought it looked a little hit in the video, so I thought maybe I'd surprise you guys with a little natural glam and this is the finished product right here i love it i had to give you guys the slow-mo because the curls were on fleek today and you can see that my um diva curl cut has given me lots of shape like this is a wash and go and you can already see like the definition in my hair and it's not even 100 percent dry in this clip yet but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, y'all. <laughs> 
subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Sunday. And until next time, guys. Ooh, love it, girl. <laughs> Bye.